airplane mode on me, no drama. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Sun Session with Sonico. Um, this cannot wait until the new house. So I gotta bring y'all this now. We gotta talk about Miss Platinum. So this is a fragrance review on Miss Platinum before I hit y'all with some remixes and combinations and things like that. Um, every holiday, you know, Bath and Body Works do their signature scent, do a signature scent for the holidays. So this is gonna be holiday 2024. So we have Platinum. Uh, year before we had Luminous. Year before that, I want to say it was dream bride and year before that it was pure wonder y'all time flies right so platinum consists of silver blooms don't be torn off by the play on words it's going to be a floral and it's going to be a white floral not as sweet as jasmine not as bitter as begonia but i take it that it's something in the middle it's going to be a white floral now it's not going to be one of those white linen florals no and it's not going to be one of those white florals like white diamond ish that makes you feel like church mother number five nope it is a perfect balance of a white floral my take is a jasmine balance balance and a begonia balance somewhere in the middle okay so that's your floral base and then you have patchouli so i know y'all said well they just went with patchouli and vanilla romance which is very true and then you have vanilla romance not vanilla vanilla noir with that base and patchouli as well which i keep telling y'all that could be a unisex and try vanilla romance and um vanilla noir together men and women love the combination so the the patchouli is going to be the thing of a season now if people don't understand what patchouli is patchouli is an accord that mean it takes more than one scent note to make patchouli advertises a patchouli musk that's a double up on words it's because to make patchouli you have to have some musk there you have to have a little aromatic of an incense you have to have musk and you have to have a little bit of amber now all companies again that make patchouli some are a little stronger some are a little less not all patchoulis are created equal me personally i love the way bath and body works balance theirs between the musk and the amber because it doesn't come off like that dirt earthy patchouli this is a different patchouli than the you know the hippie kids patchouli um which patchouli lovers are i always tell y'all this tend to be fun loving free spirited even keel that's why it was so popular in the 70s and patchouli when they had the instant and the cones would be the eliminated to get rid of the because you know the hippies they they did that the tree hugging people they were who they were so bath and body works tends to make it a little bit more perfumey and i like that and this also has some bergamot what's bergamot bergamot is just a citrus bergamot is a cross between a lime and a lemon again all companies bergamot smell a little bit different this one has more of a citrus a nice balance it's not lemony it's not lime it's right there in the middle so if you take the patchouli times the floral times the citrus you have a nice even keel it's not too strong although patchouli is a niche fragrance so when you're demoing this with somebody in store don't really expect everybody to love it because the opening note is kind of strong and then you fan it down and let it play out and then you'd be like oh okay i got some floral i got some citrus it is a nice balance so when i'm demoing i always tell people you never you never hold this to the spray card you shake you spray on the spray card and you let it aerate. When you hold like this, you pick up way too much alcohol. And I see a lot of guests come in store and do that. And I'll be like, hold on, let me show you how this is done. Um, kind of like chasing fireflies. It came across strong, but once it opened up and it set, that powdery note dry down, it ended up being one of the best sellers. So I will say this with this one. The citrus, the floral, the patchouli together, they are chef's kiss. It is not too strong in my opinion, but I'm a patchouli lover, y'all. Understand? So let's give the rundown again. You have patchouli, which is going to be comprised of musk and amber. I take it to be a basic amber. You have to know your scent family. Patchouli has many babies. Floral has many babies. Amber has many babies. Remember, you have a golden amber like in fairy tale. You have a white amber that's in pure wonder. These things have many babies. This is why scents can't be uh, per se duped and you can't sue a scent company because they're natural elements. You can try to be inspired by a fragrance 
hence covered in roses. But we don't know perfumes, the Molly, the Lena exclusive formula. So Bath and Body Works try to get it the best way they know how. Okay. So when I say that, like your patchouli, again, don't walk into this thinking, oh, this smells like such and such. Let it do its own thing. Because I said, you have patchouli that has some amber muscan floral. And then they went and give you another floral with a white floral. And then you have that balance of the citrus, which I think give the chef kiss. Because if you have patchouli on top of floral, you would honestly be smelling like somebody's usher board. Okay. Now let's get into these combinations. I'm going to hit y'all with a bonus round at the end of this. For about three days, I've been wearing platinum on its own. And then the next three days, I started with my remixes. So when we had our store meeting, you could have vote for your gingham star. And a lot of people nominated me. So I get to win a free product. And I picked the um the platinum fragrance mist. Although I really wasn't going to get a full size. I was going to get a mini. I want it. So why not, right? So my first combination that I hit it with with Covered in Roses. And I put this reel on Instagram. And a lot of people have tried it and they like it. When I told you it just made platinum 10 times more sexier. Because I'm a rose lover. I'm not, I, I'm not, I can't really say I'm a full on floral girl. I always tell y'all this. But then my niche is growing because I ended up loving In Bloom. One time I would have ran from In Bloom. But I loved it. But roses and peonies are my thing. So I kept this together. And I've sold this combination in the minis. Times this. The last three days I work. The last three days I work. The full size wasn't available. And we had some people that want the full size. And it's like we'll just come back when the full size is available. So you got that. You got that sweet rose. This doesn't give powdery rose. Rose vanilla. Or Bath & Body Works Classic Rose with that rose and jasmine gives you your powdery rose. No, no. This gives you luxury rose time platinum. So that's why on Instagram I called it platinum rose. So again, you have a white floral. You have patchouli. You have a little bit of citrus times this sweet rose. 10 out of 10. And then the $8 small EDP, those are always good to get on preview. If you don't want to splurge on the big box, take three rewards and get like three of the $8 EDPs. I mean, to save on some money. So then I hit this with the Platinum Gorgeous. What's Platinum Gorgeous? My Peony Explosion of Gingham Gorgeous times the Platinum. Again, you got the Sweet Floral Peony times the patchouli, the mustard, citrus, and platinum. And anybody in the fragrance world knows that if you rocked with Gingham Gorgeous or you rock with Thousand Wishes, then what was the combination that stole the show? The Carolina Herrera Good Girl Glam. This, on top of this, was just chef's kiss. I wore this out at a doctor appointment on Thursday in the elevator. By the time I got to the desk, my admin said, you always smell good. And I know the rule of thumb. You have to write it down for me. Absolutely. We can say tis the season. Tis the season for several combinations. Make it your own. Again, I can't express this. Make it your own. Now, I will say platinum. The shower gel, when I bathe with it and rub myself down in the body cream and use the fragrance mist uh, before I went to bed. I woke up, I still smelled it. So that was overnight. So when I went for my workout uh, yesterday morning, I did the same thing. I didn't blend it. I went with the shower gel, the body cream, the fragrance mist, and a little bit of the EDP. And I got like a good four to five hours where I could still smell me. Now, I was off. I didn't have a busy day. I had to run some errands, picking up new furniture and things like that. But I got a good four to five hour wear, and I'm not mad at that at all. Now, $79 for the full EDP because that box light up. I don't know. I, ha I have to think on that. Like, I do love it. Um, even at a 50% off, that's about $40. Maybe... Or that might be one of the ones you wait and see if it lingers around to sass because I do love it. You understand? Um, but again, if I can get away with the single EDP and buying a couple of those, I'm pretty much okay with that. So, that brings me to y'all perfect in pink. Y'all heard about that one yet? Okay, come on in. Come on in sit down. Because for the girly girls, this is for y'all. Before I got to perfect and pink, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing platinum 
times bombshell by Victoria's Secret. Everybody know that bombshell has that almond creme and it has that peony explosion. Again, peony repeats a lot of time. Remember, we have perfect and peony. You have girlfriend night. You have thousand wishes. You have bombshell. It's not hard to find peony in lots of fragrances, especially come spring, come summer. So bombshell times platinum in the fragrance mist by bombshell as the stronger EDP. Let's just say I smell amazing. And I wanted to tell y'all that because I, every time I think of bombshell, I think about that pretty pink packaging. So that's my segue into perfect and pink. Now, your gourmand, your gourmand girlies, you are going to love this. Because you have like a whip almond creme note that's there. And it's not that almond note that's heavy on that almond extract that sometimes they could use like in that pistachio one. I love pistachio, but that pistachio hand soap and when they had that body care, I didn't like it. I felt like it's great, like straight oil, almond extract, very artificial. But this whip almond cream, I mean, it smells amazing and then it times it with a vibrant cherry so here we go with a cherry again right now we got the also cherry that's quote unquote the tom ford inspired and then you may have that cherry from valentine's day and then you have a pink caramel caramel i call it like a like a caramel almost like a pink sugar there's no such thing as pink caramel, but again, it's a play on words. Let's take that pink sugar, that berry type sugar that people actually make pink sugar. Pink sugar is taking white sugar and you crush in like some dehydrated strawberries in it and it turns it into a sweet, very pink sugar. So if you break that down and you cook the sugar down like a caramel, will it come up like a pink caramel like color? That's going to be a yes. And then you add the cream. Y'all ain't come for a cooking lesson, but you see where I'm going. You have the almond cream. You have the pink caramel and you have the cherry. Now, let me tell y'all this because I got my notes written here. I played with it at the store meeting. I'm glad I didn't wear any fragrance. I like it, but I don't know if I love it because it's a very powdery sweet. Um, the almond is the star of the show. I'm looking at my notes. The almond is the, store, the star of the show. The cherry would be third and the pink sugar would be second. Um... This is why you take notes. Because on my notes, I said, I love it. I like it, but I don't love it. If it was me, I would do the also cherry to bring the cherry back up to the top note. Okay, so for me, I like some gourmands, but I don't love gourmands. I could see me rocking this in a trial size, a, a travel size with the old cherry to bring it back up top. Or that at the, or that finery uh, cherry scent in a perfume form that Target had. That was inspired by the Tom Ford Oso Cherry. So my um, perfect and pink, my girly girls, again, you have that almond creme, which smells like a creamy almond, not or not almond blossom. You don't, it's not floral. Okay, hear me out. It's not floral. It's a sweet, creamy almond. You have cherry and you have a, like a strawberry, berry, caramel, sticky sweetness that when it first opened up, it's going to be very powdery, very girly, and then it's going to dry down on the skin like a snack. Mm -hmm. She smells good. She smells good. But I would create more of the cherry notes so I can smell like, huh, that's what I want. But again, tomato, tomato. That's why I'm bringing it to y'all several ways. And when you smell it, you can decipher if you want to leave it as is or if you want to combine it. So all of these should be on the floor by the 30th of September, by the 1st of October. And when y'all get y'all hands on them, come on back down here in this chat. Tell me what you think and tell me what some other combinations we can go with because that's what we do. We the St. Girlies. We help everybody out. And I don't know everything on the market, so I be looking and learning just like y'all. And now I got to go to work to sell some of the stuff. Bye, y'all. Now, how y'all let me do my whole video without my signature in a corner highlight? That's okay. Because mama know how to serve the beat. Scrape brush down. No filter. I'm going to show y'all how to get y'all beat right. Bye.